Hey everybody, Chris Cantrell from Bear Country Outdoors. Today we are out in my gun shop and we're gonna talk about a couple of loophole scopes. Uh, today we're gonna go over the Mark V, uh, 5 to 25 by 56 first focal plane and then a second focal plane scope which is their VX6 HD 4 to 24 by 52. All right, we are gonna start with the VX6 HD. Uh, this one is in the four to 24 by 52. This is a second focal plane scope, uh, meaning that when, when you look through the scope, when you adjust it, the reticle does not change. The reticle stays the same uh, versus the first focal plane. And we'll get into the first focal plane uh, when we look at the Mark V. But on this scope, as you can see, it's very beat up. Uh, these are guns that we use. They've been field tested rigorously. Uh, unfortunately, I've had to send a scope back to Leupold because uh, we ran over it with a truck. Uh, their customer service was fantastic. They fixed our scope, they sent it back free of charge. The best warranty in the business, hands down. Uh, their customer service is fantastic. I've dealt with them a bunch of different times. Like I said, we are, we, these, are not, these are not trailer queens. Uh, safe queens they get used we beat these things up this thing has been all around the world uh, we've taken I don't umpteen million critters with this thing uh, it's, it's a fantastic scope and I'm gonna tell you why I like it so the magnification range on this this is the the top of the BX6 HD line it goes all the way down to four power so say for instance if you are in uh, if you are in thick timber and you're gonna need a close shot the four power uh, will allow you that very wide field of view. Now, us being long range hunters, shooters, uh, this gun in particular, which is a 28 nozzle, we've shot this out to a mile multiple times, uh, four power is not gonna cut it. So you can crank it all the way up to 24 power. And then uh, it does have a, a, a side focus on this for your parallax adjustment. Uh, it does have the CDS dial system. So we developed a load for this gun we send all that info into Leupold. They send you back a turret for free, completely free, uh, with all of your information. So the the yard is, is is on here. I do have a dope sheet on the side as well for, for different uh, elevations and temperatures and different bullets. Um, very, very handy though. So say for instance, if you range it, it's 575 yards, you literally 575 and, and, you, and you shoot. Uh, there's a little bit more long range hunting <laughs> shooting than that, but the basics are, it makes it very, very simple. And uh, it's an it's a excellent feature. Uh, they have uh, zero lock turrets on both uh, the windage and elevation, which is really nice. This one also comes with a lighted reticle. Uh, also something I wanna to touch on um, is the their, their scope caps. These are really, really really nice scope caps so these are their uh aluminum flip up caps as you can tell the back one uh has a little lever spring loaded the front one we just you just push forward flips up stays up again these are spring loaded you don't have to worry about them flopping down you don't have to worry about tearing your scope cover off and leaving it on the ground they, they stay on the gun scope caps i just typically Every, every uh, scope cover I've had that I've torn off in the moment, it's gonna get lost in the dirt or the snow or wherever I'm at. So these are really, really nice. Um, another thing that I really like about this scope is a reticle. So this is a TMOA reticle and it has minutes of angle hash marks. The adjustment on this is in minutes of angle as well, but it leaves a little tiny gap in the very center. So when you zoom in on a long range shot, you don't have any crosshairs that are covering up whatever you're shooting at, whether that be a target or an animal um, or, or what have you. So uh, again, a second focal plane scope. We'll move over to the first focal plane scope and I'll tell you the difference. Again, this has been, this has been everywhere. We've used this on everything. It's a fantastic scope. The magnification range is, you, you, couldn't, you couldn't ask for anything more. So let's move on to the, the uh, Mark V now. This is our Mark V uh, first focal plane scope. Now we just showed you the VX6 HD, which was a second focal plane. And we'll touch on the focal planes real quick. So the, the, the reason 
that I use uh, this scope for a very particular purpose is uh, I wanted to go moose hunting in Alaska and they have a minimum 50 inch requirement. So with a first focal plane scope, when you zoom in and zoom out, your reticle will physically move, like it, it changes. So what, what you can do is, um, you can zoom, this is five to 25 by 56. And so you can zoom all the way into to, uh, to 25 power it blows your reticle up so you can see your hash marks a little better and you can physically measure if you know the distance you can physically measure a width or a height or how big something is so that's the main reason i use a first focal plane scope um, besides that the mark 5 5 to 25 to 56 is a fantastic scope i think it's probably one of the best bargains in a 5 to 25. Uh, i want to say this one clocks in right around uh, uh two thousand bucks which is you know, in the grand scheme of things, is a fantastic price for something as a lifetime warranty. You're just you're never gonna outuse the scope. If you break it, you send it in. They send you a new one. Um, you're not gonna wear it out. We're again, we're super hard on our on our equipment, and this thing's been fantastic. I have multiples of this the same exact scope. So, again, the power five to twenty five. Five is low enough to where if you're if you're in the timber, if you're in thick woods, if you're in somewhere where you don't have a long line of sight, uh, you can still have very quick target target acquisition in a very large field of view. This has a 35 millimeter main tube and a 56 millimeter bell, meaning that you have a ton of elevation adjustment, you have a ton of light transmission, and you have a very wide field of view. Uh, now on the other end, when you zoom all the way up to 25 power, that light transmission is, is huge because a lot of scopes, if you zoom all the way up, your, your, uh, your sight picture, not only does it get small, but it gets dark and it gets blurry. Uh, you don't get that with this scope. It's, it's, it's just a really, really good scope. Um, some of the things in the Mark V that I like, they have a different style turret. So if you, if you it's, a, it's a more robust, a larger uh, tactile style turret. So it's a, it's a bigger knob, it sits a little more proud, has a little bit bigger zero lock. When you turn it, it has, it has a, a much more audible sound to it. Um, same uh, parallax adjustment. Uh, the windage has a, has a, uh, a cover on here. So again, this is, um, has an MOA reticle in there. Uh, so you can, you can um, measure and hold wind. If you want to adjust your wind, you can just pull this off. There's just not a zero lock on it. That's the only difference, uh, which can, which can fit some people, which some people like, some people dislike. Uh, I like it quite a bit. Uh, and this means your zero, your, uh, your windage zero will never get bumped off because you have a, you have a cap on there. Um, it comes with uh, a different style of throw lever on here. So this gun is very, winter user friendly. So if you have a set of gloves on and you're trying to mess around, you're trying to adjust your scopes, not only do you have this throw lever, but you have these larger turrets that you can you can very easy, easily manipulate if you have gloves on. Um, they come with a, a sunshade as well, which is nice. Uh, some of the places that we hunt, it's we hunt in very steep country. So a lot of times you cannot help but be shooting somewhere into the sun. Um, long range too, uh, it's, it's really gonna help block that sun uh, and help with, uh, with uh, target focus. So again, the Mark V, very similar to the VX6 HD. A couple of differences, the main one being, this is first focal plane, that second focal plane. Um, they're both fantastic scopes, so it just depends on what fits your needs, but we, we we run both of these in the shop. Um, we love them. We've we've field tested them. Uh, they each have their place. And uh, if you have any additional questions on any of these scopes, not only could you contact Loophole, but you can contact us at Bear Country Outdoors, and we'd love to help you out. So to wrap it up, we just wanted to uh, point out two of our favorite scopes. Again, this one is a VX6 HD 4 to 24 by 52, and this one is the Mark V. 5 to 25 by 56, first focal plane. Again, the BX6 being a second focal plane. But uh, again, guys, we use these scopes. Uh, we've used them for years. We take them out, we punish them. 
They're very proven. Um, they're fantastic scopes. If you guys have any questions, you can always reach out to us uh, at Bear Country Outdoors. And again, uh, this is Chris. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.